What's up, everybody? This is Brett from TrainingSnacks.com, and today we're going to talk about Sugar Bites Looperator. For those that don't know Sugar Bites, they're a really cool company out of Germany, and they specialize in making awesome instruments and effects for both Mac and PC. Looperator can operate as a standalone device or as a VST or audio unit plugin. Looperator is also very unique because it's an effect that can act like an instrument. You can manipulate your incoming audio in real time and change the different presets using a MIDI controller. So let's take a listen to these four loops that I have playing without Looperator, just so you can hear the difference. I used a drum loop, a simple sawtooth bass line, a vocal sample, as well as a little wah guitar. So let's play it without Looperator. <laughs> As you can see, it's real boring, no life to it. And then let's add Loop Raider in. As you can see, Loop Raider is analyzing the audio in real time. And I have four different instances of Loop Raider running. I have one on my guitar, one on my vocal, one on my synth, and one on my drums. This can also be applied to the master output if you wanted to, which would be a great tool for DJs to manipulate in real time. Right now I have it synced to the host sequencer tempo, but if I wanted to, I could also play it using any type of MIDI controller. It takes your incoming audio and it breaks it into 16 discrete steps. I can then slice the audio, add effects, I can add a looping feature where I can put stutters in, put envelopes in so I can evolve the sound over time, or filters, slow pass, high pass, you name it. So let's look at each particular one. And everything can be randomized thanks to these little die. So if I hit the die over here, I can randomize the entire set, or I can randomize each individual lane of effects. I'm going to go back and undo. As you can see, we have an undo button here. Or we can redo. And let's play just these drums. Try some different presets. So what is it doing in each step? Well, let's take a look. Right here in the slice lane, I've got the fourth step playing at the second step. Now each individual cell in this effect matrix can be manipulated. So let's just click here and see. So I can choose slice four if I wanted to. And let's say I wanted to put four of these in a row. Let's hear what that sounds like. On effect two, I can choose from reverbs, vinyl effects, changing the speed of the sound, or adding some phasers. In addition, there are user effects where you can create your own wholly unheard of effects. And to access the user effects, you click this little cog wheel here, and you can see I can manipulate the left and right delay with different rates. I could change my feedback, my pitch, and the overall mix. So right now I've got reverb number five. You can see the description right here. And that's why you see all these little numbers in the corner. They're different variations of each effect. This particular effect on effects one is a distortion. Loop is where we get our stutters. So if I wanted to, I can change the loop from four times to six times to eight times. Let's do a 16th type stutter and see what that does to the, to the beat. Envelopes can also be added. So you can see we have slow releases or fast releases, fast attacks, slow attacks, you name it. Another cool feature of Looperator is the ability to morph these effects over time. So for example, I can choose a low pass filter. And in the next step, if I choose the tie effect and then hold down and click, I can drag this. And this low pass filter will now evolve from this first step through this eighth step. So let's hear what that sounds like. Now let's check out our synth line without anything else.
pretty boring and standard. And then let's check it out with Loop Raider. And if I wanted to, I could change the resolution of how fast it goes through each one of these steps. So this is a really cool way to get some dubstep wobble effect. So for just playing one note, you can make yourself sound like a genius. I encourage you to try that out. Once again, everybody, I'm Brett from trainingsnacks.com. Hope you enjoyed Loop Berator from Sugar Bites. It has a street price of only 119 bucks, which makes it a no-brainer, and I give it a two thumbs up. Lots of fun. You can get as creative as you want to or use the onboard presets. It's totally up to you, but I will guarantee that you will have a good time using it, and your tracks are going to sound fabulous. So please make sure you check out Sugar Bites Loop Berator. Thanks again, guys. See you next time. Oh, <laughs>